and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today I am going to be doing a swipe. I've got this Prussian Phalo blue colour as my base and I'm going to be adding some bright colours. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got a 16 by 20 inch canvas here and today I'm going to pour this on all over like it's a big base. So, well, I'm going to save a little bit for my edges. I've got about 600 mils. I don't think it's enough. I've really got to get the hang of this. Just saving a little bit there. Let's just move that around a bit. Is it enough? I saw some bits. So what I thought I would do today is um, some lines and um, layer it up and swipe it through using this one. Um, this is a style that Molly does from Molly's Artistry. She does this a quite a bit. so. Um, I had a go at it when I first started and I didn't really have my recipe uh, down pat yet so I thought now that I'm getting better at it uh, that is cobalt blue so pretty now that I'm getting better at it I thought I'd uh, have another go I like a lot of color so I'm gonna go quite thick with my lines that color is the manganese blue this one here is turquoise mixed with some of the deco art aquamarine and then I've got some azo yellow deep for some brightness so I'm expecting that this is gonna bring some real bright greens in. Might have my lines a bit wide. And then I've got a pop of gold. Now I'm not sure whether having doing that last is a great idea so I'm going to put it on top of the yellow there. I'm going to go through there and then maybe I'll come back this way. Let's put the colours down for the other one. Um, I'm going to do the same order, a little bit like a rainbow, I guess. It's pretty actually, looking pretty already. And then the gold. All right. Uh, Let's just give it a crack. I've got white swipe mix. I just hope I've got enough paint. I might end up painting my corners before I stretch it. So I'm putting on my white swipe mix here. Um, and this is a bigger palette knife than I've used on this technique before. So, fingers crossed guys. Oh my god. I'm going to just angle that to make it a little bit easier for me. I'm nervous. Alright, I can do this. Oh. I've used too much swipe mix. But I can't really tell. Let's hope that opens up a bit more. Just paint that corner. Well, pretty. Very turquoisey. 
some pretty yellows going through there. I might need It's pretty. I would like to see a little bit more of that yellow. So what I might do here is just add a bit more there. I think I do have enough paint. We'll find out how this goes, eh? Get some white, this white mix. Maybe not so much this time. Because that's still very thick there. So I'll just drip a bit of that off. I'm wondering if this is quite wide. I might let that sit. Can I? Oh, I need to prop it up uh, so that it's flat. And I might grab a smaller one. Just thinking of doing like a small swipe in the middle and then coming along with the bigger one. All right. Let's try it. I can always. Go over it again, I guess, with the bigger one. I'm going to take that through there because I'm going to actually swipe through that with this one now. All right, still very white up here. I think that worked better. So I had too much on my palette knife. Because it's such a big palette knife. Ooh. It, um, it's pretty through there. It collects more of the white. Mm. I'm going to have to turn it around, I think, to do what I want to do here, which is just drag this. Through there. I'm not happy about this. What can I do? Hmm. Maybe I need to go around. Oh. Let's try it here. Hmm. All right. I think I'm going to just fix this with stretching. I'm not sure about that corner. I might try and go that way first. I love this corner. If I go that way, it might be my best chance of rescuing that and stretching it out nice and large. So 
I'm just adding a little bit of extra there. Tricky. Just making sure I get these edges covered. sure about my composition. I've got something over here. I've got some edges that need clean up over here. Not sure about the back. thinking don't drip on it. Hmm, <laughs> this looks like a, a lightning or something. Uh, yeah. Oh wow. You should oh I definitely have to bring you in to see this. Can I get that? it's not stretching it from here and I don't want to lose that either so <laughs> got most of the paint in the middle really love this and this is all gold which is actually gonna look really pretty I think when it's dry and I'm glad I did this pop of color through here I'm just wondering about um, maybe just bringing that out a little bit like that. Just didn't like the way it was finished. I could actually bring this dark through here, maybe. Let's try it. Yeah, that's probably it. I will bring you in for a wet look. All right, I'll bring you in for the wet look. As you can see, I haven't cleaned up yet, but um, I like the brightness in the corners, but the lacing's turned out really well. And we've got a block of gold with the yellow underneath going through here. A bit of bright yellow going through there and it goes up into like an electric storm. And then over here, check this out. That is so pretty. So many multiple layers in there. I love it. I just wish it took up more of the space. But then we go through, we've got the lacing. And through here, this is all gold. Um, so that's going to look quite good, I think. I love the, the colour... Uh, the yellow. I'm glad I did this. I added the extra yellow there. This was the small swipe. So I think that ended up working well and gave it a little bit more um, interest. So yeah, that's the wet look. Now we just have to wait and see what it looks like dry. And here is the dried result. And the lacing on this guys is so pretty. It's nice and crisp and it just it looks like uh, it looks electrical to me the gold under here look at that a blend of gold 
We've got gold over here. I think having the yellow underneath the gold really helps it pop. And then we've got some really pretty shading. Let's see if I can get a little light on it. Really pretty shading through the blues up here. I wish that was uh, further in, like not just up in the corner. It would have been nice. But the yellow, this has got some yellow lacing, uh, a light yellow, and that definitely looks like electricity. But yeah. Oops, sorry. It's very nice. Very happy with that one. I feel like I've got my uh, lacing recipe worked out again. So, um, if you're interested in knowing the recipe I use for this one, I'll put a link in the description for my uh, paint mixing video. And um, yeah, that's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'd appreciate it if you could give a thumbs up or thumbs down if you don't like it. <laughs> that's fine. Um, and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye.